What's up, y'all? So, on this episode of Torrance Bikes Repairs, uh, we're checking out a Tongsheng motor conversion, which is uh, a newer motor that just came out. And uh, because it's newer, there isn't that much information or support out there as far as like installation goes. There's plenty of install videos, but stuff can happen to your motor when you're riding it. And I've experienced some looseness in my motor. And John here, the mechanic, also rides the same exact motor on his bike and uh, he's experiencing some issues with stuff being loose or being too tight so today we're going to talk about what you can do to mitigate those issues and what's the number one upgrade that you should do to your bike so we'll go ahead and remove the crank arm and so for that you'll need an eight millimeter socket and to remove this bolt and then we'll need a crank puller to remove this so go ahead and thread that guy in and you can do this by hand. Or you can use a tool like I do. And once the crank arm comes off, you'll remove these six, uh, five bolts here that hold the chainring spider in place. So you can do this by hand as well. I just prefer the drill for speed. Make sure when you reinstall it that you don't use the drill so you can torque everything down properly. Um, just like that, the chain ring comes off. And, uh, you know, your tongue shank may look different just because I have a different chain ring installed on there. But essentially, what we're looking at spacing out is this right here. There is this C-clip here, which you have to remove using a spanner tool. And underneath it, you can see those two copper washers those actually came with my kit and i installed those underneath this spindle to tighten it up and also underneath this bearing assembly you can actually just pull this out if you remove this clip and you can install a spacer behind it which i've also done and i'll show you guys what that spacer looks like so this is a drivetrain spacer kit you can go to your local bike shop and get this spacer from almost anywhere but the one we're looking for is a BB30 spacer. And we're looking for not the one millimeter, but the 0.5 millimeter. So it's a real thin spacer. It's gonna be this guy. And you're gonna put that behind your, uh, your Sprag clutch assembly. And uh, once you pop that in there, it removes the play in your Sprag clutch and your Tongsheng motor is one step closer to being good. Cool, so we've got this site completely assembled now and uh, you'll notice that the chain ring spider is sitting a little bit further away, just a tiny, tiny bit, enough to not rub the case because that's one of the problems that these motors have is that the chain ring rubs on the plastic casing here. So doing spacing it out like this is gonna eliminate that issue for sure. All right, so we're now on the left side of the crank. We've spun the bike around and uh, we've removed the water gasket that sits here in the shell. And if you look inside, you can see how much space is in there. It's exactly 16.9 millimeters of space. It's way too much space. Um, and that can cause your spindle to move freely and possibly break. So there is a hack for fixing this, and we're gonna show you guys that next. So this is the gasket that comes on there. Um, it's a few millimeters thick, and it measures 28 millimeters on the outside and 15 on the inside. So uh, figuring out which bearing fits in here was not that difficult. It's this guy here. And this is a 6902RS bearing. So if you, go ahead and buy yourself some of these and the cheapest I found them was a pack of 10 for 10 bucks on Amazon and uh, you can you can then use this bearing to fill in the gap on the bike so let's go over to the bike so you can see it fits right over the spindle and right into the shell and it's a perfect fit and you can put two of them in there or you can place one in there and the gasket which is what I'm gonna do so I'm getting ready to install the gasket so we pushed in the bearing and you can see 
there's actually enough space to slot another bearing in there if you want to ride two bearings and that is totally acceptable as well except you're going to have to figure out a different kind of you know waterproofing system so i'm not going to do that i'm going to slide one bearing in there and then i'm going to put the gasket in place which is super easy you just use a lug i got this uh 18 millimeter lug here and i just pressed it in place and done now that we've got both uh, cranks on and the bearing installed and the gasket, there is no more play in my cranks. They feel very solid. And that's exactly what we want. Um, when I first purchased this bike, I jumped it once and in only one jump, it became loose. So this is how you solve this issue. Thanks for watching.